This is the beginning of Lecture 13, Part 1. We're starting a new unit today. The, um, this is Unit 3, and we're going to be covering Chapter 2 for the next three weeks um, in your Chemistry and Context book. And in the last unit, we looked at pollutants, and we looked at, um, you know, uh, basically the air is a mixture, and the mixture varies depending on where you are, and one a minor component in that mixture could be pollutants. And we looked at some primary pollutants, and one of the secondary pollutants that we looked at was ozone. And so we understood that ozone is a dangerous pollutant, a toxic chemical uh, on the ground level in the troposphere. Um, but you've probably also heard that ozone is important in the stratosphere. So today what we're going to do is start talking about sort of the what, where, how, and why of ozone. We need to understand more about that molecule so we can understand the job it does in the stratosphere that is helpful versus the job that it does in the troposphere, which is harmful. So in order to do this, we really need to understand molecules on a deeper level um, to answer some big questions and understand some of the public policies associated with the answers to those questions, like why is it that we do what we do um, to... Um, you know, limit the production of certain pollutants or um, make safe some chemicals in the air that are necessary. So, um, you know, prevent um, damaging the, the atmosphere by putting unwanted chemicals in the atmosphere. So there's lots of big questions and a lot of um, big decisions are made based on um, what we're doing to the environment as we uh, move along with modern society. So the first thing I want to show you is this picture, which is on the uh, first page of the chapter. Uh, you'll see it when you read the chapter. Um, this picture, it says, um, you know, this is the, it says total ozone on September 25th, 2006 at the top. And what I want you guys to do is stop the tape here in a second uh, after I give you some instructions and talk in, in some small groups about uh, what this picture uh, is. Of. Okay, so what is the picture of? What is it? What is the picture? Um, what are the units? What is the scale and the units on the scale? And uh, what story is being told with this picture? Okay. So I want you all to um, stop the video and just take a minute to wrap your brain around this picture and try to answer these questions, maybe five minutes.